Well, as you know, our oceans are really changing. The fish populations are going down in numbers, the size of fish are going down. So it's very critical that we use tools that can help us revive the oceans and in fact bring some of these fish populations back to the historic levels. 70% of the protein in some societies comes from coastal foraging and fisheries. These are at risk if we don't look after reefs. Many years ago, I got Emily for groupers, and now I don't know if you could get a grouper in Emily. Those days are gone, that's overfish. And we are pretty lucky to get a lot of fish, so we gotta preserve what we got. In Belize, there were at least 11 traditional spawning sites for grouper and other species of commercial fish. Nine of them have been eliminated by overfishing and presently there are only two large viable spawning aggregations. The, the fisherman saw the whole Chan Marine Reserve with a lot of fish and that is because no fishing is allowed. But then they could fish right on the edge of the marine reserve and they're doing very good. The fishermen themselves want to expand and make it bigger because they see that these places provide a lot of fish and the fishermen could fish right on the edge and they're doing very good. In December 2002, the Minister of Fisheries of Belize closed to fishing 11 traditional spawning sites in Belize. This was possible because of the involvement and endorsement from the Belize fishermen, who understood that eliminating the spawning aggregations was equal to eliminating the fisheries that sustain them. We, we really need to push the concept of fully protected areas as a tool to establish a, a form of protection for coral reefs for the long term. We tend to think about uh, setting these areas aside to enhance fisheries populations, which we can by targeting fish spawning aggregations, by working with the local communities, by working with the fishermen who realize that there are changes taking place, empowering them to help us identify the areas that are critical to sustain fishery population. But also, the scientists have to help us identify the areas in the ocean, in the marine environment, particularly in the tropics, particularly in the coral reef environment, that we can set aside for future generations.